Okay, so this is the video everybody's been waiting for. I'm here at the Magic Dock in Enfield, Connecticut, and I have got my A2Z adapter. I know that it is not going to work because how else, uh, how would the car be authenticated on the Tesla network? But we're gonna try it anyway. We're gonna see how the plug fits, see what it does. And like I said, I know it's not gonna work, but we still gotta try. Just because it's fun. So, it's on. Locked in. Get the blue light. Contactors. So the car is trying. It wants to charge. Get the blue light, blue light, blue light. Yep. Fail. Kind of knew that was going to happen. But like I said, we had to give it a shot. But it seems like the plug actually does fit into the adapter pretty well. It does lock in and stay in. I actually, once I finally unlocked it, it pulled right out. So, even though it doesn't work today, it will work in the future, and that's what's really important. So, now we're gonna charge with the actual Magic Dock, and um, you know, we'll do our normal thing. So, charger, we're at 3D. Three D, get it? Oh, well, the same thing that happened last time. Nothing. Won't work. It's kind of interesting. See, this has been happening lately. Like the last couple times I've been here. The magic dock doesn't, it won't pull out. Get it? Won't pull out. Charge here. 3D. Start charging. Nope. Hmm. Oh well. It's another one of those times where the magic dock just doesn't work, so. That's something to keep an eye on because that never used to happen. And the last few times I've come here, I've had to move posts because the magic docks won't unlock. So I'm wondering if maybe after a certain amount of time, they start to get stuck, they start to get worn out. Maybe they just don't work as well. Not, not too sure, but this one, uh, it's still saying to pull it out. And it ain't happening. It's not coming out. So yeah, that might be a flaw in the magic dock. So, finally got the charge. Had to change to three different posts. But, uh, fortunately, still like what I saw the other day here. 78 kilowatts, 189 amps. This is really low. I don't know why this particular site, it, it, just, doesn't, it just doesn't ramp up. That one in Brewston, New York was like double this. It was much, much better. So I don't know what's going on here in Enfield, Connecticut, but you know, figures the one that would be close to my house would be the one where it doesn't work right. But whatever. It's still, uh, I mean, this is basically the equivalent of EA at this point, which is not great, but it's better than nothing. So I guess we'll take it. So, well, I could not get the magic dock to unlock. It took me three different tries and I finally had to use the little, uh, a little thing that says need help unlocking adapter press that and it does unlock it but it's supposed to do it when you hit start charging you're supposed to wait you know push it for two seconds it pulls out that just wasn't working and um so it makes me think that maybe there's a problem with these magic docks after a time they uh start to wear out or they get stuck i mean although it did it did unlock it just wasn't functioning the way it has pretty much every time i've been here up until very recently so I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. But we got charging. It's still 
not great. Um, sitting here now at 50% state of charge at 189 amps, 78 kilowatts. That's um, not the best. So I don't know if there's something going on with this particular site because I was here last week, same thing, not getting great speeds. But when I was in, uh, when I was at the Magic Dock site in Brewston, New York, which is the first one, um, about a week and a half ago, I was getting great speeds. It was fantastic. So I don't know what the difference would be between that one and here, but it sure doesn't seem that, that this one is cranking out the amps um, like a lot of the other sites have been. So I don't know. Maybe I need to see if uh, find somebody with a different vehicle that's not a Tesla to come here and see what they get. Um, but anyway, in any event, we're charging. We're just about done. I tried the uh, A to Z adapter. It didn't work. Big surprise. Knew it wouldn't work. Um, not ready yet. Um, but I think it's coming soon. It sure sounds like uh, it'll probably be Ford, then GM, and um, whoever's next. I don't know where Polestar falls in that in that lineup. But uh, um, hopefully within uh, the next four to six weeks, we'll be able to charge here uh, or any Tesla V3 or V4 without without an adapter, and that will be super awesome. And in the meantime, just remember that EVs are awesome and it's okay to be awesome. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.